Guru have released a new item in their Fusion luggage range? Well, let's have a look at it. Roll the titles. Hi, welcome to First Time Fishing With Me, Big Bird. Now, first of all, obligatories. Basically, thank you so much for subscribing, liking my videos. Please carry on. Every time I see the numbers coming up, it's, it's egging me on for more. So, I want to get more videos up for you. Hence the reason today, we're going to do a little review. Because Guru have only gone and released a new item of their Fusion luggage range. Now, it's just a really quick video for you today because... I've obviously had this news and I was quite excited to show you guys. So, it's quite good, I have to admit. I was quite impressed when I saw it in the tackle shop. Should we see it? Here it is. So. Basically, it's a fusion feeder box system. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I use this and how it's supposed to have been used by the Guru consultants. So, first of all, it looks like all the other gear, which I'm really, really pleased with, because I like the look of the other gear. But when you feel it, it's quite, it's quite padded. Uh, unlike the other bags that we've got just here, these stuff are, they're quite a bit harder. Um, but certainly looks exciting. The other thing that I've, that I've noticed on it, which is a godsend, on all these bags, these carry straps, they're all, you can't take them off. And they get in the way. They get in the way of your trolleys. Like, they don't get too much in the way because you can always shorten them. But I've always wanted to take them off. Check this out. One. Two. It's gone. It's gone. I've just got a bag. Just a bag. There's a strap. I'll do that. Right. Anyway, taking it a couple of times to the bank now. So... Let's show you what I keep inside my bag and how it all works. Let's go to the station. So here we are. This is the bag. You can see it's quite a nice size, actually. But uh, you'll see um, that it fits the Fusion feeder boxes absolutely perfectly. Um, first thing, yeah, no strap. Love that. Um, you can reattach it if you really want to, but uh, mine can do one. With... Um, the feel of it, like I said, it's padded. Uh, it's the same as the Fusion Holdall uh, that they released, uh, Fusion XL Holdall and the normal Holdall. Um, and it's going to protect all your gear. Uh, I've been quite impressed with that, to be honest, because you know what? These feeder boxes, they are quite expensive. It's got this handle at the top, which comes away with Velcro, um, which is, you know, nice, nice touch, I suppose. Um, and then the fun begins. So there's this strap at the front, and look... There is my feeder box just underneath. Now, this will hold three feeder boxes, but I like to keep my um, my uh, hooks in here, my feeder hooks, so like method hooks, um, hybrid hooks, uh, hooks that I'll, you know, tie to a bomb or something like that. So uh, this is my number three case, which has got um, the majority of... Um, some of my six inch hook lengths etc some banded some not um i've also got just here i've also got my um, qm1 case uh, this is my case number two and a lot of those are sort of four inches um again bait banded and not um and i also keep in here uh, my pva mesh system which um it's really, really good to stick some pellets in if you're wanting to feed one area quite heavily. The mesh then dissolves in the water. Um, maybe I could do another review later on um, uh, later on in the year about that. Um, so if we put that one to one side, uh, we can then get the feeder box out. Uh, the feeder box itself, um, I really, really rate these from Guru. I've had no issues with them. No, none of them have broken. Um, I've got the two boxes um, so inside here, you can see that on the left-hand side, I've got my cage feeders, window feeders, there's some pellet feeders, 
maggot feed maggot feeders in there um here's my hybrid feeders and method feeders i've got my weights uh for my bait ups and my other cage feeders um these are quite cool um these are little containers where i keep like speed stops um i've got feeder links in there um tail ends for my method feeder um and then in this box i've got uh, some change beads um i've got some stops for hair rigs um and some uh, swivel links if we just pull the box back up you can see that i've got the x safe system stems here for the feeders which have got the elastic built into them um that's a bomb just there uh, and i've got my other stems uh, for if i want to fish in line there um there's plenty of space in there i've got some extra pellet waggler um hooks just underneath but everything that you could need in there and more so if we uh, just do that section up we're go then going to go on to the top section and if we reveal this oh oh look at that there's another feeder box like i said you can fit three feeder boxes in this system um there's a little pocket at the top here i just got some uh mainline wafter baits in there they're lovely and if we move on to this side pocket um we can open this one up and i keep stuff like i've got some two mil pellets uh that's the mainline cell um which i really really rate them for the summer they're really good um a lot of attraction for the carp f1s etc and i've also got um my sp bear uh, feeder reel Daiwa uh, TDR pop that to one side uh, and I also keep my, um, my spare spools in there as well that's the feeder bag uh, as you can see uh, it's well padded but this little section is quite clever this is so if I just manipulate this space a little bit around the outside um, of the uh, section just here you can see me having a go at it you can actually pull this away just like this and suddenly your bag opens up now you can just poke this down into the bottom and have it as a full bag uh, in case you didn't want to segregate the two sections but i quite quite like it so uh, that's how i have it anyway that is the fusion feeder box system uh, bag overall uh, I'd 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 give it I'd give it five out of five. I think I think I don't really think that there's much that they can improve it on. Um, they've obviously learnt from their previous luggage system as well, so uh, that's the kit. So that's the new Fusion feeder box system. So it'll fit three feeder boxes in, all the size of the uh, of the Guru Guru feeder boxes. It's got plenty of other spaces uh, to keep all of your gear in. If you just want to do feeder fishing, you can literally just go take the bag, take your rods. Happy days, you're done. So. I quite like what Guru are doing, how they're concentrating a lot of their different types and ways of fishing into certain bags, because uh, it means you ain't got to lump it all around with you if you want to go for a certain type of fishing. There might be certain venues that are just simply pole fishing. There might be some that are simply feeder fishing. You might only, if the rivers are up, you only want to feed a fish, really. You wouldn't be getting a pole out or anything like that. You wouldn't be bothering with a waggler, I'd imagine. So... So really, you don't need to take this and you're walking, trekking all the way down the river. All you got to do is take that bag and your rods, maybe a keep net and a landed net and that's it. So it's a thumbs up from me. It is, absolutely. Uh, it works. You can see that they've learned from the other stuff and the strap coming off. Godsend. And I have heard as well, um, Adam Rooney, who's the product manager, he said that all of the Fusion luggage is going to start having these uh, straps that you can take off. Anyway, it's just a quick one today, just to show you this. Let me know if any of you have bought one, what you think of it, whether you'd recommend it for anybody else as well. That's all I've got on this item. But once again, thank you so much for watching. Just remember to hit that subscribe button uh, and give us a like and let us know what you think. We'll see you in the next video. Tight lines.